Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thor 3, which is one of Lumentop's latest long distance LEP lights, and it's capable of throwing a white beam 2500 meters, which is a little over one and a half miles. If you're looking for a way to throw a super intense beam a really long distance, the Thor 3 is a great option to consider. The Thor 3 borrows a lot of style elements from the Thor 1, including a black aluminum body with the name and the serial number printed on the head, with some pineapple style knurling, a rubber tail switch with turbo glow tubes on the tail. It weighs 322 grams or 11.35 ounces, including a 21700 battery, and it's IPX8 rated and impact resistant to one meter. The Thor 3 has a crenulated bezel and the nine watt max laser shines through a translucent piece of phosphor and the beam is focused through a convex lens similar to the setup on the Thor 1. However, the lens is much larger and designed to throw much further distances. The UI is very simple. To turn it on or off, all you need to do is fully press the tail switch. A half press will switch between high and low and two clicks with the light turned off will access the strobe. Now we're going to take a look at some beam shots and we're going to start off on high mode which has a max output of 400 lumens, a peak intensity of 1,562,500 candela, and a max throw distance of 2,500 meters which is a little over 1.55 miles. The beam trail is highly visible through the sky and the hotspot is really intense and it does an excellent job of lighting up the field lights and the close ones are at about 115 meters away and the further ones are at about 215 meters away. Here's a first person view so you can get a better idea of what it would look like if you were using the light yourself. And from this angle, the beam trail is much more visible. And as you can see, the beam is highly visible on the trees, which are at about 230 meters away. Now we've dropped down to the 40 lumens low mode and although it's much less intense, it's still doing an excellent job of illuminating the field lights at this distance and you can definitely get by on this mode for mid-range use and the runtime would be much improved at about 7 hours and 20 minutes. Here's another look at the Thor 3 on high and it can run on this output for about 5 minutes before ramping down significantly to about 100 lumens or it can run for another 4 hours. The color of the beam is pretty close to neutral and it's doing a great job of illuminating the refinery and it's able to cut through all of the ambient lighting with ease. Now we're going to push the Thor 3 and the capabilities of my Insta 361R action camera to the limits with the long distance test and the shopping center with the Ross and the CVS in the distance are at about 600 meters away and the beam is highly visible even in the presence of ambient lighting and it's even able to go hundreds of yards further and now I have no point of reference and no idea how far it's going which should really give you an idea of just how powerful the Thor 3 is. If you want to see how this light compares to a handful of other LEPs, be sure to check out my LEP comparison video, which is linked to down in the description below. Let me know what you think of the Thor 3 in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to the Urban Survivor channel for more LEP flashlight reviews like this one.